Tom, thanks. For the first time in 50 years, Americans have boldly gone where very few men have gone before. The moon. Natalie Nunn's here, bringing us new video released from the moon landing. Natalie. Yeah, 50 years, uh -huh. that's a long time. Sure is. Well, last week, the U.S. lunar lander named Odysseus touched down on the moon. It is expected to shut down for good tomorrow because it's running out of solar power. Odysseus landed harder than expected and got stuck. One of its legs got stuck in a ditch, causing it to tip over. Odysseus is the first American spacecraft to land on the moon, like Jesse said, in more than 50 years. In a post made by NASA, they said the lunar landing made a delivery to the moon's surface. The instruments now will be there to prepare NASA for future human exploration of the moon under Artemis. So what is Artemis? Artemis' mission is labeled as humanity's return to the moon. It will land the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. And Jesse, after a little digging around, I found that September 2025 will be the first crewed Artemis mission around the moon. And then a year later, September 2026, they hope to land astronauts back on the moon. The long-term hopes is to establish the first long-term presence on the moon and then ultimately sending the first astronauts to Mars. Um, count me out. No desire to oh, go to Mars. Sure? <laughs> I was just going to volunteer you to be our new moon correspondent. There's a lot going on <laughs> in the next it's, couple of years. That is right. It's, it's busy again. <laughs> Would you go to Mars or the moon? Either one? You know, I'll, I'll stay back here on Earth, keep my feet on the ground, I think. I'm with you I on agree. that. Natalie, thanks. Well, some good news.